you go and I'll be okay. I can dream the rest away. It's just a little touch of fate, it'll be okay. It sure takes its precious time, but it's got rights and so have I. Hey guys, MonkeyCraft here, and welcome to So Much of Minecraft Seed Sunday! The time of the week where I give you a brand new seed to play around with for a week, come back and enjoy a whole new adventure. And this week, um, it's it's an okay seed. Not great, uh, sadly. I um, struggle to find a fantastic seed. But uh, it's a good seed for you to play around with, um, at least for a week, and then come back. I'll have a better seed next week, I hope. So, um, let's just jump on in and check out the seed, shall we? So, the seeds will spawn you right here with a lovely sheep. Hi, sheepy. Why are you looking at my face like that? Hi. Cannibal sheeps. Um, so, yeah, it's spawning you right here uh, in a little bit of a forest steep biome. Um, just over... Oh, some weird... Weird bug going on right here. That's, uh, that's a bit strange. It's like the world generation just kind of cut off right there. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit weird, but um, yeah, so we got jungle which is still loading and um, Got you know the forest and stuff, but just behind you where you spawn we have a village and Seriously this world is taking so long to regenerate um, But while it's generating uh, you have a village uh, has the usual Well and farms and stuff you got one two three four five six seven seven fields of farms now in 1.4 these will be filled with you know potatoes and carrots and stuff like that so if you want to use the seed 1.4 um, or one of the snapshots you can and you'll have some uh, some interesting foods that you can play around with as well so um, inside this little thing here which is a uh, blacksmith I can't remember the name there um, we have a chest as always and in this chest we have some goodies the goodies are iron leggings, uh, iron boots, more iron boots, more iron boots, and three swords, three iron swords. So basically, it's a good start to an adventure. Um, if you want to go mob slaying, you can, and there's not going to be any problems. Um, I'm just going to put the coordinates on the screen as well, just so you know where everything is. Um, the top left corner, as always. So um, yeah, next we have the uh, da, 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 where is it? oh here it is. So just over here, we have a little tiny bit of a mini ravine. Um, it just not a massive ravine, I must imagine. I must imagine. Why do I keep saying imagine? I must admit. Um, but it is a nice ravine. Um, filled with lots of ores and you know, you get your coal, uh, some more iron, iron, iron. So if you want more swords, you can make more swords. And uh, you can smelt it quite easily with all the coal. Um, there are some uh da -da -da, here's the caves here. Um, more iron. It's just a nice little place to walk around really. It's uh if you like caving and you like going down these big caves and stuff like that, um, this is a really cool save for you. And it doesn't take long really. I mean I'm at thirty I'm at twenty nine now and what diamonds spawn at fifteen below. So it doesn't wouldn't take you long really to get to diamond level and then, you know, start digging for diamonds. So uh, that's a really nice little ravine and I need to find a way out now. I can't remember how I got in here. Um up here, I think. Was it here? It was this is a ravine here. Okay, so if we go just out of this ravine uh, like this. Actually, if you wait for the um, vines to grow, you wouldn't even need to get a water bucket. You just wait for the vines and kind of just glide them down to the floor. Um, can't say you're going to be able to get up that way, but you can get down that way quite easily. Now, just over this way is yet another ravine. There's tons of ravines in the seed, I must admit. I uh, see, I said admit there rather than imagine. I'm getting better. So, um, just over here, um, we have a little bit of a ravine here, which continues there. And as you can see, it's not a massively deep ravine, um, but it is a kind of nice little formation. Uh, it's got some kind of cool ores around here, and some pretty nice, yeah, it's got some pretty nice terrain going on here. Um, sink down there. Oh, gold. Okay, so you got gold as well, um, and a mine shaft. So you got gold there. Uh, we got mine shaft, mine shaft. You got mine shaft that's just burning down from the lava. I love when that happens. Um, what else we got? We got some chests. In this chest, we got some iron, some iron ingots, oh, some gold ingots. Maybe. Just got butter, um, redstone, and some bread. What else we got? We got d -d -d some more mine shafting. Um, weirdly enough, some plants. Really? Spawning this slow down? <laughs> okay, so we have some flowers and we have some grass <laughs> growing in a mine shaft. That's just weird. Um, that is unusual. I've not seen that before. Uh, what else we got? We got some more mine shafts. So basically, it's a nice little mine shaft here, um, and you got your redstone ores, and you got your 
uh, obsidian and stuff like this. If you want to go to the nether, you can. If you don't want to come all the way down here, though, to go to the nether, there is another source of obsidian, which is up top side. So I need to get back up there and just dig up. Yeah, there we go. So that's the, that's the nice little ravine as well. So this is the second ravine. Oh, well, I guess you could class the first one as a ravine as well. It was quite big. So this is your second ravine. And then if we just go this way over here, past the shark fin, that does look a bit like a shark fin. Just like hanging out the water. Um, random. Uh, if we go, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It is over, over here, I think. Over here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> that are she blows. Um, this is another ravine. And it's not a massive ravine again. It's kind of, well, it is a long one, but it's a thin one. Uh, long but thin. Uh, so we go um, just down here, as you can see, this is kind of a nice little ravine. It isn't, as I say, it isn't that wide. Um, so if you want to kind of just come down here and jump from side to side, you probably, ah, maybe not. You probably could if you just got a running jump. Oh, I can't run and jump. Let's try again. Can you do? Yeah, we, yeah, so you can run and jump from one side of the wall to the other if you wanted to um, come down here and you didn't want to have to worry about falling. So, in here, you've got your oars again. Nothing too majorly exciting, but kind of cool. Anyway, um, now if you wanted to go to the nether and you didn't want to go all the way down to you know, lava level, there is a surface uh, lava here and it's right next to water. So, if you really wanted to go to the nether and you find yourself some diamonds, um, you know, but you just want to, you don't want to be lugging all the obsidian up top. Then you just kind of break that. There you go. You got obsidian, and then just fill it back in, and you can go to the nether. Yay! <laughs> so there you go. Some obsidian straight away as well. Um, now over here is the jungle, and I think there is a small little ravine. Um, as I say, this when I said small before, I I knew it was kind of a big one, but this one is a really small ravine, and it's I don't even know if it's around here. Um, it could be, could be, it's hardly even a ravine. I thought it was closer, and it's actually losing all its, um, the point of coming over here now. Because it really is just small. And... Kind of pointless now. Still pointless. I'm just... Why am I still looking for it? I don't, oh, there it is. Um, it's not even a ravine. It's a hole. It's a hole in the ground. But it's kind of meant to be a ravine, I think. It was supposed to, like... If the world generation kept going on, that would have become a ravine. But the cool thing is, it does have a tree down here. Um, or what you could probably class as a tree. Uh, so if you're wanting a tree in the middle of a hole in the ground, you have a tree in the hole in the ground. Um, so oak tree, and yep, one piece of wood. So that's cool, I guess. Um, once again, though, nice cave systems and stuff like that. Now speaking of cave systems, I just want to show you what the cave systems are actually like, because um, I can go into X-ray mode and show you. So we go back to where spawn was, which is just over here. Um, da -da -da, I think it was over here. Yeah, it was. Okay, so we just go back up to where spawners. Slowly but surely. Uh, was it? Am I getting mixed up? No, I'm not. There's the ravine. There's that thin but long ravine. Goes winding around the tree. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we just put X ray on now. And if I just get the cave system up, I think this is the cave system one. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's all the mine shafts. Now, as you can see, if I just go down here, actually, dig two down, it'll see a bit easier. There you go. So, that is the cave system for the mine shafts and stuff like that. And it's pretty nice, actually. Um, not as big as some of the other ones I've seen before, granted, but uh, it's still pretty decent. I mean, if you want to go exploring in mine shafts, this one has a pretty nice one, a uh, pretty nice sized one to explore around it. And it's still regenerating, as you can see over there. It's a lot more there. Still, wow, it's actually generating quite a lot now. Um, so, yeah, we have a quite nice cave system if you want to go exploring really. Um, now as for spawners, because um, I'm sure that's what most of you will be asking for now, uh, there is a spawner around here and I think it's just under x-ray mode. Um, should be just around here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's... one second, where is it left? I, I know it's around here. I know it is. Um, okay, we got the Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and set, do some settings with the x-ray and I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, so it's only slightly out. It's not actually here. It's, um, there. Or oh, there. Oh, wait. Is it there? It's that one. There's two. I know there's two. Um, okay, so there's this one here. And this one here is a skeleton spawner. So we just go down and see what's in the goodie chest. 
Oh, too many far. And in here we have oh this is the one. This is the one I was trying to think of. Okay, so we got string, we got a record, some cocoa beans, some redstone, a saddle. So if you want to ride those piggies, we're using the carrots from the village which we just at, which when in one point four obviously it'd be carrots, and some bread. You can with the saddle weather. Um finish the sentence before you go on to the next item, honestly. Um so um yeah, that's it for this week, guys. It is a nice seed, as I say. It's a pretty nice seed, and I think this. Um, I think in one point four, maybe a uh, witch's hut will spawn over there in that little bit of um, in that little bit of swamp biome. So I mean, I haven't checked it, and I'm not going to check it this week because I know last week I put on the screen, you know, if it was, but it's still, you know, you should come out there and kind of look for yourself and see if it is. It'd be kind of cool. Um, now before I go, actually. One of my good friends, um, Drad, he has his own YouTube channel, and um, it's it's not huge yet. Um, it will be one day, I'm sure. But um, he he's doing best. He's taking my seeds that I do every Sunday, and doing a let's play in them. So if you're wanting to check it out, um, what the whole terrain would be like, and watch him do adventure in hardcore as well, hardcore. So he has one life to do this. Um, basically survive for a full week in the seed and then come he'll do it next one he'll do it next one next week another one next week even um just go and check him out link will be in the description he does you know he's, he's pretty decent he's, he's pretty decent he's a good lad he's a good lad um but he's worth checking out so if you want to go and check him out link in the description he'll be doing a let's play in the seed and uh trying to survive in hardcore for a week and i don't imagine that's going to be too difficult with the with the sword and the iron armor and stuff like that in that um in that blacksmith there but still it's going to be fun to watch. So um, link will be in the description for that, as always. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. There's a little button down there. You have to just press it. Just down there, I think. And uh, there's a subscribe button up there. Uh, so press that as well. And if you have any seeds as well, if you have any seeds and you want me to check them out, um, I will just li just link them or comment them in the uh, comment box below. And uh, I will check them out. If they're awesome, if they're decent, I may review them in the future. Um, just keep an eye out for them. And, of course, you'll be mentioned uh, for submitting the seat. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, guys. TTYL. Peace out. And bye-bye. Toodles. Bobby. So many ships. Shippy ships. Oh. It's, it's a house ship. It lives on the top of the house. Bye-bye.